Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. As the United States intensifies its technology restrictions on China, ASML has become one of the companies hit by the U.S. sales restrictions. In response to supply chain fluctuations caused by U.S. restrictions, ASML has cooperated with Chinese companies to expand order delivery to China to maintain business stability. In the third quarter of last year, ASML's sales to China accounted for 46% of its total sales, compared with only 8% in the previous first quarter. It can be seen that the restrictive actions of the United States have had a huge impact on ASML's delivery ratio to China, but it is expected that this high delivery ratio will continue to exist in the fourth quarter of last year. Cooperation between Chinese companies and ASML is mutually beneficial to both parties. For ASML, the Chinese market is its main source of incremental market, so accelerating exports will help make up for losses caused by U.S. restrictions. For Chinese companies, since the expansion and standardization of China's independent lithography machine production capacity takes time, expanding the purchase of ASML lithography machines can maintain production capacity during the transition period. ASML also stated that it expects the demand for lithography machines in the Chinese market to remain strong in 2024. Although the U.S. restrictions have affected 10% to 15% of ASML's shipments, the procurement scope of Chinese companies is mainly concentrated in mature process fields. Therefore, the Chinese market is still an important expansion for ASML. Space The impact of U.S. restrictions on ASML and the choices of Chinese companies. Through its long-arm jurisdiction over ASML, the United States issued a ban and restricted the sales of its technology and key products. This is because behind ASML's position in the field of lithography machines is the US-dominated Western technology system. The United States can control ASML through technical restrictions and sales restrictions on key products. This approach not only disrupts the original production and supply chain structure, but also causes the affected companies to suffer profit losses. However, Chinese companies such as Huawei, Lungsan Technology, and SMIC are providing independent solutions for Chinese chips, thereby increasing the demand for domestic chips to ensure the stability of the supply chain. The rise of Chinese chip companies has provided Chinese companies with alternatives to choose from, increasing their confidence when facing Western chip companies. For example, China's leading technology companies have shown a cold attitude towards the castrated version of NVIDIA's chips. In order to meet the performance density requirements of the US ban, NVIDIA launched a special version of the chip with reduced functions for China. However, Chinese companies have received a lukewarm response, and some companies have revealed plans to significantly reduce their purchases of new NVIDIA chips. This shows that in the Chinese market, NVIDIA's products do not have a monopoly, and the original chips are still competitive and are the first choice for Chinese companies. However, the castrated version of the chip does not have any advantages compared to China's existing independent solutions. The U.S. ban is leading to the marginalization of the U.S. company NVIDIA in the Chinese market, making room for Chinese chip companies that are in the stage of expanding production capacity. China is currently the world's largest chip market, 
with total chip imports reaching 415.6 billion US dollars in 2022. Relevant examples of the Sino-US technology war show that the United States has not developed smoothly in its technological restrictions on China and has already developed loopholes. It is difficult for the United States to understand the actual development progress of China's chip industry, so its restrictive policies lag behind the actual development stage of China's chips. Huawei released a new machine on August 29 last year, and through its actions broke through the US restrictions and blockades in the field of cutting-edge manufacturing. China's electric vehicle industry continues to grow, with BYD's annual sales already surpassing Tesla's. Onboard chips for electric vehicles belong to a mature process field. Due to the impact of the current situation, there is recent news that the United States is considering initiating restrictions on China's mature process fields. It can be seen that the United States' willingness to suppress China's chip manufacturing industry is still strong, but loopholes have appeared in its obstacles in the chip industry chain. China is committed to independent efforts in the field of science and technology and in the process of increasingly improving its domestic and foreign market layout. It has the ability to win this technology war initiated by the United States. The United States is trying to suppress China's technology industry by restricting the development of China's chip industry. However, China's tremendous progress and independent innovation in the field of chip manufacturing, as well as the huge potential of the Chinese market, have enabled Chinese companies to demonstrate strong resilience and coping capabilities in the face of these challenges. Through cooperation with ASML, Chinese companies have seized the opportunity and accelerated the purchase of photolithography machines to maintain production capacity and mitigate the impact of the US sales restrictions. At the same time, China's leading technology companies are continuously increasing their demand for domestic chips, ensuring a stable supply chain. Although the US restrictions have had a certain impact on China's chip industry in the short term, China is developing its own chip technology at a rapid pace, and consumers' demand for domestic chips is also growing. It is foreseeable that China's chip industry has huge future development potential and will provide more opportunities and advantages for Chinese technology companies. China has a huge market and strong scientific and technological strength. It is gradually getting rid of its dependence on foreign science and technology and moving towards the road of independent innovation. Although it faces some challenges, with the continuous advancement of technology and government support, China's technology industry will usher in a brighter future. The rise of Chinese chips is not only of great significance to China, but also has a positive impact on the development of global science and technology. I believe that in the future, China will achieve greater breakthroughs in the chip field and become one of the leaders in the global technology industry.